We are continuing our special series of first-hand reports of America's Continental Armies. Our subject for this issue of the big picture is Fourth Army, its principal units and installations. Fourth Army has many interesting activities, such as the development and testing of guided missiles, the big guns of the artillery, and the training program of Army aviation. But it also contains the sites of many historic relics of America's great expansion in the last century. Now here is our guide, Lieutenant John Mortimer. This is Lieutenant John Mortimer and the big picture camera. This week we're taking you on a tour of Fourth Army. At Fort Sam Houston, San Antonio, headquarters of Fourth Army, we enter the famed quadrangle. In 1846, this post was established as a training center where volunteers from the north were trained and sent to join General Taylor's army in Mexico. Here, tame deer run unhampered through the grounds. 1898 became a memorable year in San Antonio history when Colonel Leonard Wood arrived to prepare for the encampment and training of Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders before they went to Cuba. Throughout the grounds, there are many reminders of earlier times in the fort's history. During those early days, this structure was built as tall as a nine-story building to hold a water tank high enough to provide enough pressure to carry water to all parts of the encampment. From this tower, one can see east, north, west, and south, the whole sweeping area of Fort Sam Houston. But perhaps the most colorful page of Texas history can be found at the first military center at San Antonio.